Hi, I'm Farmer John McNamara, and you're watching FDNY. Attention to roll call, Imperial. Here. McBride. Here. Gable. Here. McNamara. Here. All right, today, Mike, you're going to be driving? Yep. Nozzles, McBride. Thank you. Gable, backup. McNamara, control. The job of, a, of an engine in the fire department is to basically get water on the fire. Um, it sounds simple, but it, there's a lot of variables. Is it a standpipe building, which means do we take the water from inside the building? Is it, a, is it what we call a stretch building, where we take the hose from the street and we stretch it into the building? Uh, sometimes it's a long stretch, sometimes it's a short stretch. What we have to do is take each situation and adapt to it and do what we have to do to put the fire out. AFA automatic alarm, we don't really know what's going on. We get a lot of these, so they're pretty routine. We never know what's happening, so we have to be prepared anyway. So just in case. Yes, it's post alarm. One of the workers hit the alarm panel box and, uh, by accident, yes, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a false alarm. It's, it's pretty typical of what we do in Midtown. This is engine 23, and it's just a typical rig in the New York City Fire Department. Uh, all rigs are set up the same way, or similar. This way, uh, everybody's familiar with the, with the apparatus in, if you go to different firehouses. This is our supply line. If we want to supply another engine company, or from a hydrant to our engine, we have three attack lines. This one's a two and a half inch attack line, mainly used for commercial fires or big areas of fire. These two lines, they start off as two and a half inch, but they go to inch and three quarter at the end of the line where the nozzle is. It's more, the inch and three quarter is more uh, maneuverable in small tight spaces, you know, tenements or brownstones, things like that. My job today is on the nozzle. It's probably the best seat in the house when you have a fire. You know, depending on what call you got, you're either pulling an inch and uh, three quarter or a two and a half. Most of the time we do an offensive attack which is you, grab, you go right in to the, uh, to the seat of the fire and uh, you put it out. Like I said, best seat in the house. I'm working at engine 23 and I have the backup position. We back up the nozzle man, the guy that's on the front of the line. I'm behind him and helping him control the line and move into the fire to put it out. Right here we have the chauffeur. There's lighting controls, radios, uh, things like that. But uh, that's where the driver sits. Back here, we call the back step. There's two firefighters on this side, there's two firefighters on the other side. Uh, we have assigned riding positions. And on this side here, facing forward, is a control man. And he's in charge of controlling the stretch. He knows how many lengths of hose needs to be stretched. Um, you know, he'll tell the chauffeur what floor, things like that. Important things that the chauffeur needs to know that are to adjust pressures and things like that. In here is where the nozzle man sits here. The backup man sits here. Uh, the, the masks are actually recessed into the seats so they can just throw it on their backs while we're going to the box. Uh, this is the mask. The whole unit itself is called a mask, uh, which consists of uh, an air cylinder, a face piece, a regulator, 
uh, hoses, shoulder straps. It's important to have air. Obviously, um, you can't breathe smoke or hot gases. It'll burn your lungs, literally. Um, yeah, the CO levels in a fire are so high that you take one breath and, you, and you'll, you'll die. You'll uh, eventually collapse, pass out, and die. It's rated for 45 minutes. Working time is going to be less than that because your body's working harder. A lot of times we do get to a call before EMS. We'll, if need be, start CPR. We're able to use a defibrillator. And then we'll assist the EMS in any way we can when they do arrive on the scene. On the fire ground, my job is to first and foremost provide a safe operation. And every operation is different, every fire is different, every emergency is different. But what we do is we base our operation. Engine. Now we have to go. Let's see what it is. Four alarm, first two, West 56, Seventh Broadway. Fire. Something's only work Manhattan Box 909, 211 West 56th Street to 1077. Right there was heavy smoke coming out of the apartment. The door was open, the building maintenance had it open. Um, the truck went in, did a search, found the fire, knocked it down with the can. We stretched the line but didn't use it because the fire was contained with the can water extinguisher from the truck. Well, we, we pulled up, we test the hydrant first, and then if something is confirmed, when they give a confirmed 1077, which is a fire in a high-rise multiple dwelling, then we, I hook up, you know, we, uh, get the hydrant water into the into the pumps. We had the second two engine show, we saw came over. He helped me with a uh, three and a half inch line to the building. And we get the water going. We get, put it in pumps, get the water, a water source, which is a hydrant, put it into pressure, Feed it to the sandpipe, which is right here, and they're on the 31st floor. So, like I said, it you can only do so much, but I'm, I'm giving the max that I can give without it's at 245 pounds right now. Nice well done. Nice job. Yeah, ornament was on fire in the middle of the room. I don't know how it didn't catch up the whole room, to tell you the truth. I mean, it was just sitting there. You got the truck knocking it down? Yeah, I think they threw a can on it. They stole, they stole it from me. They stole the show. Alright, that's it. Anyway, it was a good smoke condition. Good. Next. <laughs> What's next? It was a nice drill. It was a drill, it was a good drill. Fire. 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 Fire.
good company. I like it. Everybody's cool. It's a fun, fun area. Midtown's probably the best place to work for me anyway. I'm pretty happy here. I love Midtown Manhattan. It's great. And, you know, the guys I work with are great. And it's, you know, it's, it's a fun job. I need, I, need, I need lines. I need lines. I'm going to have to go back and hold up some cue cards for this guy. <laughs> yeah, make me some cue cards. I like the camaraderie that we have between each other. And, uh, you know, even though we're a small house, we're a very tight house. What better place to be? New York. I love it. You've just gotten a taste of the dangerous, challenging, but highly rewarding work members of the New York City Fire Department do each and every day. As you can see, there's definitely a reason why they're known as New York's bravest. Whether they're responding to a vehicle accident, high-rise fire, or major emergency, our firefighters and fire marshals demonstrate unparalleled dedication and courage. They're always willing to help a stranger in need and they do, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you want to learn more about how you can become part of the New York City Fire Department family, visit us online or call 311 for more information. Thank you.